And 4-8B, 4-8B is that, um, is it, uh, I'm recording right now. Can you wait till I'm done with the problem? I'm on YouTube right now. <laughs> okay, so this is 4-5A. It says rewrite each expression without parentheses and use only positive exponents. If you go to my website, it's flynnmath.weebly.com. You can find a Khan Academy video just all about um, the negative exponents and positive exponents. Good for you. I love that. So, um, but I'll go ahead and, and do this. Actually, you can. Oh, did you? Yeah, because Khan Academy is just a good resource. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to rewrite it without parentheses and use only positive exponents. So, how do I get rid of the parentheses? Anybody know? You should, um, you can. Oh, um, stack them. Stack them? Yeah. <laughs> well, you kind of well, could. You mean like. Shoe You mean the shoe Like, no, like right. that? Yeah. We always call it. Oh, my, no. My, my teacher. Da, 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 wait, don't use time and X for time. I don't want to stack them. No, well, like my teacher, the one that came up with that thing for the X and Y, uh -huh. he called it the stack and he's like, what do you do? Do you stack it or do you tack it? You know, like. I Let's tack it. <laughs> so just multiply them, okay? Because when you you know when you have stuff right next to each oh, other. You tack it on the end. Of yeah. So. <laughs> I don't know. So what's three times negative two? Negative, negative six. So basically, you're multiplying like the numerical factors, mm -hmm. and then multiply. There's no x's to multiply with this one, so it's just going to go along for the ride. And then y cubed times y, that's y to the 1. What does that equal? y to the what? Four. There we go. That's the answer. It already has a positive exponent. It is. Well, the thing that's not simple about it is not knowing what kind of problem is it. I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest of these all on the same video. Okay, so here's letter B. So B is, can you even see that though? B is x cubed y squared, this one has some negative exponents, uh, y to the negative 2. Okay, so this one, again, to get rid of the parentheses, I'm just going to multiply. So I'll just, I'll multiply the x's with the x's and the y's with the y's. If I have x cubed times x to the negative 2, does anyone know what that would be? Would it be just x? Yes, because when we multiply, we add the exponents, and 3 minus 2 is 1, so it's just x. Thank you. That's excellent. Get it? Excellent. Oh. Okay, what's y squared times y to the negative 2? Nothing. It's nothing because the 2 and the negative 2 make 0 when you add them. It's 1. It's actually a 1, but I'm not going to write a 1 on there because 1 times x is just x. So the answer is? X. You knew that too, didn't you, Rocco? Because you got that one right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's kind of an expert on those. Okay, so here's the next one, letter C. So can you see that? Yeah, 6x to the negative 2 over 3x squared. Now, there's no parentheses, because remember it said get uh, right without parentheses and use only positive exponents. I don't have any parentheses. How can I get positive exponents? That's the question. Move him to the basement? Yeah, move this guy. Thank you, you're so smart. Move this guy down to the basement. That's the little story. That's Mr. Fukumoto's story. First, before I move him down, see, he lives upstairs, and he has a negative attitude, doesn't he? He's got a negative exponent. But all I have to do is flip him down to wherever he doesn't live. If he's in the upstairs one, he can go down to the basement. And then he'll be happy. And when he goes down there, he'll be he'll hang out with these other people with this one and that guy goes down there and he's now he's got a good attitude right because we moved him across so basically Can when you, you just write that 3x to the 4 yeah well sort of are you saying that just combine. yes you certainly can so that's 3x to the 4 thank you and then we're going to also cancel out do you notice that 6 and 3 like I could divide 6 by 3 and I'd end up with a 2 so I'm just going to say that 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 6 twice, and this is 2 over x to the 4th. 
Okay, that's my answer for that one. It's not confusing, or are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Um, you could also say, well, I don't want to confuse you. Basically, when you're dividing, you can um, subtract exponents. You'd have uh, negative 2 minus 2. That'd give you x to the negative fourth up here. But then when it moves back down there, it'd end up x to the positive fourth. You get the same result. Is there one more? Let's do the one more that's left, letter D. Oh, okay. So here's negative 2x to the negative third. That's letter D. Who has an idea? Don't cry. Okay. Who has an <laughs> Okay. Who has an idea? Anybody? Hey, wait. I know. Oh, wait. Do you have an idea, Sammy? No. Watch. No. Now, do you have an idea? Maybe not really. Well, he's unhappy upstairs, so yes. Yes, and then he'll have a good attitude. So if this whole thing goes to the bottom, the only thing left up here, I have to just stick a one up here because all this whole this whole family moved down to the downstairs. So there's negative two x, but now we have a happy attitude. Okay. <laughs> Now we can fix it all up. So now we can unpack. So here's how you do this. It's kind of like, well, actually, first should I, ask, I should ask you. Does anybody have any ideas how to, how to fix that up a little bit better? Yes. Like, um, take everything out, like put three of the negative 2x. Yes. Or, well, wait, like the, this is what I was thinking. No? <laughs> Does this thing mean, this thing means negative 2x times negative 2x times negative 2x, is that right? Yes. Yes. And all these three twos times together, don't they really make negative 2 to the third? Yeah, and all these x's, when, that's three of them, so I can write an x to the third. It's just, I took a shortcut is all. Okay, so now i got to go down here because i got a mess up there. Okay, negative 2 to the third power. How can I figure out what that is? Negative yeah, it's negative 8 because it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That's negative 8. And then x cubed, I just leave it down there as x cubed. So you can just leave it like that. Or if you like it better, if you want to leave it as like this, that is also correct. Okay, either way that you like. Okay, that was 4-5. Uh,